And now here's Mike with a look ahead to the weather. Yeah, thank you, Jen. Good evening, as expected. A sunny start to a fairly cloudy afternoon. Fairly windy also with rain on the agenda over the weekend. 11 the overnight low, around 20 degrees this afternoon. And tonight, we're at the Lost Dogs Home in North Melbourne, a relationship forged some 15 years ago. And yeah, all those years back, I came up with this catchphrase. Staff, it's Friday, it's, Friday, it's, it's 5.30, Friday, time to give a dog a home. Big dogs and small dogs, old dogs and young dogs all getting a second chance at a happy life, around 600. So thank you. Thank you to all of you who have rescued these dogs. But it doesn't always go to plan, especially working with cats. And then for the all important weekend, it will be cooler, it'll be cloudy, maybe some spots of rain. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is one-year-old Banjul, a beautiful beagle. Wants to go to your place. Of course, all the details at dogshome.com. Got the forecast in full at 5.55 plus 6.25. And that's what I'll be saying farewell. Jen. Always loved that segment. Thank you, Mike. Still to come, well, well Jess Miller's in the traffic chopper. Let's get an update on our roads. Thank you, Jen. Over Brighton in the Carbone Lawyers traffic chopper. Look, we heard crowds were gathering along the Esplanade near Dendy Street, so we thought we'd fly over to see what was going on. And sure enough, we spotted an Australian television legend, Mike Larkin and his crew at Brighton Beach. So if you're travelling through here anytime soon, make sure you beep your horn, horn and make lots of noise for Mike Larkin. Back soon with more actual traffic, Jen. Great report. Thank you, Jess. Well, now here's Stephen with... Well, Mike's back with the weather and we're looking at a wet weekend. Welcome back. Now it's over to Mike for the weather. Yeah, thank you, Jen. Good evening. Two more weathers to go now and also 6.25. And we begin with a magnificent sweeping shot down here at the Brighton Bars on uh, not a bad old Friday night. A lot of people asking, so what happens next week? What happens from Monday? Well, firstly, I'll start losing those corona kilos. And then I've got to help Dan for me survive in the pandemic. Uh, not Dan Andrews, Dan Murphy's. A couple of photos now that have been sent to Mike's Picks at network10.com.au. Uh, I remember a kid pointing me out to his dad once and he said, hey, there's Mike's Picks. And because I say a couple of photos that have been sent to Mike's Picks, that kid thought my name was Mike's Picks. Anyway, first up we've got Casper and Glenn Waverley. Very cute. Thank you, Cassandra. And here's a trio of troublemakers. Well, surely not. It's Coda, Jetta and Chili. And thank you to Cara for that particular photo. So it was a sunny start to a grey old afternoon. A little blowy, 11 degrees the overnight low, but 19 this afternoon, so no real complaints there. But we have a lot of rain on the way late tonight into tomorrow, early Sunday. Outside right now, or should I say Friday night in your city, 17 degrees. The humidity at 45%. And why is it warm? We've got a northerly, but currently blowing at 17 kilometres per hour. Around Melbourne today, and most temperatures were close on average, mainly between 19 and 21 degrees this afternoon. Across our state, well... For a, well, to wrap up my working week. Uh, minimums are not at Malakuta. I just wanted to say Malakuta for the last time. Anyway, it was minus two. That was at Mount Hotham. I wish it was at Mount Bulbo, but it was not not. 55 or 25 today's top in Mildura and Walpia, and there was no rain today. Around Australia, over in Perth, 20 degrees. Likewise in Hobart, in between at Adelaide, while 29 degrees. Up in Brisbane, 23, a bit of rain falling there last night. Sydney, 21 degrees. And in Canberra, where a guy at a clock found it time consuming it's for the kids 18 degrees and when I tell a dad's joke it's not that funny I always say for the kids to sort of get away from me uh, the weather charts a cold front and associated low are on the way for a colder and a very wet day tomorrow showers clearing Sunday but not really warming up until mid next week uh, tomorrow the great indoors will be the go the rainfall chart and we love the rain a band from Horsham Ballarat to Melbourne tomorrow will trigger 20 to 40 welcome millimeters of rain so that is great news over to Adelaide for the weekend a soggy Saturday around 20 degrees with 10 mil of rain. Sunday sort of similar. Hobart a wet weekend, 14 degrees and then 16 degrees on Sunday. Up in Brisbane a 23 and 24 degree weekend. Sydney 23 then 22 and in Canberra, who cares? Across our state, rain, glorious rain. Best falls in the Wimmera, the central districts and parts of the southwest. 15 to 40 millimetres of rain. 5 to 15 for most other parts bar the east. Uh, patchy morning fogs in the southwest and the northeast. Shepherd on the top of 20. Uh, Bendigo 17. Ballarat a chilly 9 to 12 degrees. Mind you, up in the Mallee, 28 degrees the maximum. Let's have a look at the radar now. And you can see we've got showers now moving into western parts of Victoria. Uh, the heavier rain, in fact, will be the back of it. Tomorrow, a strong wind warning for Port Phillip. All good, I guess, for 
Well, Kurt Seifert, Kurt Seifert is. Around Melbourne, mild tonight, cooler tomorrow, the rain getting heavier as the day grows older. Frankston, 12 to 16 degrees. In Geelong, 11 to 16. At Mount Dean, 9 to 11. In the Yarra Valley, 10 to 15. On the bays, normally winds to 30 knots. They'll turn southerly to 15. Waves about 1.5 metres. The sun rising at 6.24, when I'm sure a lot of you will still be asleep. OK, and now the forecast for our wonderful City by the Bay. Guys, you've got to yell out, City by the Bay! City by the Bay! Now, I actually grabbed that line years ago from an old song called We Built This City. OK, grey and almost warm this evening. Overnight, we'll hear the pitter-patter of rain. That'll get heavier tomorrow, heavier still in the afternoon. 13 to 16 degrees, 20 to 35 millimetres of rain. Uh, so that's about half the September average in one day. Uh, tomorrow will be an average sort of day. So on to Sunday, early showers, but it will be a sunny afternoon for your hours entertainment or walking. 11 to 17, light southwesterly winds. On to Monday, 10 to 17, partly cloudy, a 20% chance of a shower in eastern suburbs. Uh, the wind turning west southwesterly to 25 knots. On to Tuesday, 8 to 16, partly cloudy. Patchy morning fogs in the northeast suburbs. On to Wednesday, wow, nice, 9 to 23, but it will be a little cloudier. Thursday, it looks like we've got rain returning around 20 degrees. And then Friday, 13 to 21. I'll be back with the forecast in full at 6.25. Yes, we'll have a special look back at Mike's fabulous 25 years with 10 in just under half an hour. But now developing stories we're following. Welcome back. Now Mike's here with the weather. Yeah, thank you, Jen. Good evening once again. And here it is. After 25 wonderful years, I say good night. Uh, it's been uh, fabulous. We've done all sorts of things all around Melbourne. Uh, and I've got my kids, Adam and Grace, off camera. We'll introduce you to them in a moment. A couple of photos now that have been sent to Mike's Picks. Our last ones, in fact. Mike's Picks at network10.com.au. And first, uh, wearing sunnies, looking damn cool. That is Hanzo in Paran, enjoying some time in the backyard. Thank you, Demi. And from Sandy, here's Zoe who I really hope likes getting dressed up. Well, temperature-wise today, 11 degrees was the overnight low, 19 degrees the maximum, so both a bit above the average. Uh, a bit of sunshine this morning, some cloud this afternoon, rain later tonight into tomorrow. Friday night in your city, love saying that, 17 degrees. Uh, the humidity about 45%, and the wind all day today has been a northerly, currently blowing at 12 kilometres per hour down here at Brighton Beach. Around Melbourne today, having a look at some of those numbers, no complaints yesterday or again today. Most temperatures between 19 and 21 degrees mid-afternoon. Across our state, minus two was the overnight low. That occurred up in the Alps and 25 today's top in the Mallee. And that uh, has been a dry day today. Around this mighty big country of ours today, 20 degrees in both Hobart and Perth. A degree warmer up in Sydney, 23 in Brisbane. A bit of rain falling there last night. And Adelaide just simply showing off. 29 degrees over there today. To Adelaide tomorrow will be a soggy Saturday, around 9 degrees cooler, so 20 degrees with around 10 millimetres of rain. Hobart's in for a wet weekend, not a lot of rain, but it'll be happening 14 and then 16 on Sunday. Up in Brisbane, a 23, 24 degree weekend. Sydney tomorrow, 22, 23 on Sunday. And uh, Canberra, a little bit like it was today. Across our state, we've got some good rains on the way. There'll be well, farmers dancing in the street. We've got the best falls in the Wimmera, the central districts and parts of the southwest, 15 to 40 millimetres of rain. 5 to 15 though for most other parts by the east, a bit less there. Patchy morning fogs in the southwest and the northeast. Getting up to 28 degrees tomorrow up in the northwest of our state. Let's have a look at the radar and we're always happier when we see showers. We've got rain moving across from western Victoria and we've got the heavier rain at the back of that tomorrow afternoon. A strong wind warning tomorrow for the Port Phillip area. Around Melbourne, remaining mild tonight for catching up with one friend, perhaps. Uh, cooler tomorrow, the rain getting heavier as the day grows older. Frankston 12 to 16, Geelong 11 to 16, and of course, remaining within that 5k radius. Uh, on the base tomorrow, northerly winds to 30 knots, they will turn southerly to 15, waves about 1.5 metres. And now the forecast for our city by the bay. Yeah, grey and almost warm this evening. Uh, overnight we'll hear some rain, uh, the rain getting heavier tomorrow afternoon. 20 to 35 mils is likely, so that's about half this month's average in one day, 13 to 16 degrees. On to Sunday, early showers and then a sunny afternoon, 11 to 17. Monday again, 17. Tuesday, 16 degrees. And Wednesday, back into the 20s. Happy about that. 9 to 23 degrees. Still a bit of cloud about. Maybe a late shower at night. Thursday, 20. Return of some showers. And this time next week, around 21 degrees. So there you have it. Uh, nothing much else to say. Uh, so I'll throw it back to you in the studio, Jen. Thank you so much, Mike. And we just want to wish you well. After 25 years at Channel 10, I have loved your work with all the schools, the festivals around Melbourne, and your Give a Dog a Home. It was a classic. You there, Mike? I think Mike's gone. 
got to say that Mike was an unbelievable performer live. I've worked with him for all those 25 years, Jen. Oh, you are listening, Michael, but you might have done a runner. <laughs> uh, Not yet. The champagne's over there, though. <laughs> I've worked with you for the 25 years, mate. You're a great performer yeah. live. You're the best in the business, and I'm really going to miss you, except for one thing, your crappy jokes. <laughs> Am I allowed to say and that on television? And that's the way they will remain. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I want to very quickly, if I may, say thank you to everybody at home for inviting me into your lounge room for the last 25 years, and more recently, the iPhones. Uh, it's been a pleasure sort of showing off our wonderful city. Things are a bit quiet now, but of course, things will pick up next year. So I really do thank you for inviting me into your place. And also, I've been able to promote charities, events, big events, small events. And uh, yeah, I'm leaving with some wonderful memories at Channel 10. All class all the way, Mike, and we just want to say thank you for so many wonderful memories. Well, the pleasure's all mine. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to say anything anymore, but look, rain is on the way, but I'm thinking if I get to work on Monday, oh, that's why I don't get to work, so even if it's wrong, it doesn't matter now. Remembering it's always a forecast, not a promise. <laughs> Good on you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. The bushfire season as such does kick off today until the end of February. OK, you can put out the fire. Isn't this a romantic setting? Venice on the Yarra. Weather details shortly from Ripley with Ripley, the kids and their teddies. From the Glen Waver Police Academy. From Hampton Beach. Inside State Library Victoria. From South Bank tonight. And from Princess Pier. And it's a lovely but windy day on the bay. Time to give a dog a home. For more than 15 years, give a dog a home has been part of Victorians' lives. Every Friday at 5.30. Mike was committed, no matter how big the breed, how small or in between, to making sure they got the best possible homes. On behalf of everyone here at the Lost Dogs Home, Mike, thank you. On behalf of every animal, animals here like Sid, we will miss you. Rain, hail or shine, that's how Melbourne delivers its weather. On behalf of everyone at the Bureau, wishing you all the best for the future. We're really sad to see you go. You've been such a great communicator of our forecasts and warnings. Not just that, you've been a pleasure to talk to every day. Ah, oh, with the family.